So welcome to the final update of the build of the GMC uh, 40mm Bofus gun truck, uh, which is actually in French markings. Um, it's the Hobby Boss uh, kit and we have finished it. So what I've ended up deciding to do was to build it as I imagine uh, Jim would have built it. And obviously this was a tribute build to... Uh, Jim, who recently passed away, as I understand it, from a, from a heart attack, and he hadn't finished this, and a number of creators have uh, have gone about building this or a similar uh, vehicle. So um, let me take you through uh, what we've done. So um, obviously, we've not done any weathering on this. What we've just done is built built it up and painted it in it clean like museum standard so um, everything got painted in US Army olive drab um, which is UA219 in the life color range so that's the basic green um, and we have used pretty much life colors all the way through except for the metallics which are um, ICM paints um, and what we did is we've used uh, I've got I think four or five different um, olive drabs, faded olive drab, khaki olive drab, and I've used different colours for different things. So what I've done is I've, I've used a lighter colour for to the, the two seats there. Um, so that was the khaki olive drab, and then I've used a faded olive drab for um, the uh, tarpaulin um, that's wrapped over the spare gun barrel there. Um, and then some of the uh, ammunition boxes we've done in different colours, um, just to add a little bit of variation to the model. Um, you can also see that the um, kit supplied um, thread for the winch, after I'd attached it to the hook, I had some left over, so I used a little bit of it to tie down here. There's a little moulded on tie that's not very good, so that just improves the look. And then I've hung some over the, the corner there just to give it a look as well of, of um, being used and a little bit of variation. So it's a fully clean build. Um, I also did um, different colours on the petrol cans as well for the same reason, just to give a bit of variation. Um, decals went down okay. Um, the, the register isn't very good on them. Um, so the French flags particularly are all over the place when you look at them with your magnifying glasses on, um, but they've settled well enough. Um, it was a bit of a tricky kit to get together in places, and even though we spent a lot of time getting th um, the chassis flat and what have you, I do have a small amount of rock in it. Um, this bonnet being the, the biggest area, and I'm still not 100% sure whether I sat the internal part right or not but it felt like it did at the time so and as I'm not the only person that had the issue I suspect there's there's something wrong there but anyway um, it is done and it looks great when it's done this is straight out of the box I've not added anything to it this everything that's in here was in the box um, the the gun I can rotate, so that's all good. Um, I'm not sure if that's the right colour. Seems a bit odd to me, but that's what the instruction said, that it should be a steel colour, so that's what we did with the little brass ring there. Um, so I used rusted brass for that, which is just a, a, a deeper brass colour, uh, and the same with the casing on the shells. Um, and yeah, that's it. Then let's see, what else have we done? Um, we've painted in the lamps, painted silver down, and then used a clear red over the top. Gives you a nice lamp sort of stroke reflector type look. And then we've got some clear orange in the bottom lamps there. Um, and there is clear red um, on the reflectors um, here and behind that wheel uh, as well. And, and actually that was the very last thing we put on was the, the spare wheel. Uh, the spare wheel was, the all the tires were painted in ICM rubber black, uh, which is a really nice uh, color. I quite like that, stands up well against the Vallejo, which had been my preference before. Um, yeah, and I think it's Vallejo black that we use for the steering wheel um, and some of the, the knobs in there. Uh, other than that, 
that is it. So uh, it's a nice little kit. Um, other than that one challenge, uh, everything else goes together okay. There's lots of varying fit issues from parts being too big to parts being too small uh, and uh, location being very positive to non-existent. So uh, there's, a, there's a whole host of things that you have to go through. But once you've travelled through there, you've got quite a nice looking model. So I'll take a couple of photographs um, and um, that is it. So thank you for looking in. Um, it's just something that I, I felt I wanted to do because uh, uh, Jim had the 1200 scale forum on Facebook, which um, I, I have posted on um, a, a small number of times. Um, and we had talked about my Sean horse build that's coming up and putting that on there. So, yeah, I, I think it was it was the, a nice thing to do, a nice gesture. And, um, you know, I hope, Jim, wherever you are, that you're happy with the build, mate. Okay, thanks for looking in. You enjoy your modelling, and I'll be back very soon with something else. Bye for now.